guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another body shop review and comparison video. And this time around I'm bringing back the Indian Night Jasmine Fragrance Mist that I reviewed quite a while ago along with the shower gel. And I'm also bringing in the Indian Night Jasmine Perfume Eau de Toilette. So I did have a request to review the perfume um, along with the fragrance mist. So I thought I would honor that request and give them a review for you. So I'm really sorry if you've already reviewed, I mean, not reviewed, viewed, viewed the uh, fragrance mist version um, of this product. I am going to be repeating some of the details here. It's just for the benefit of everyone, just to get everyone on the same page. So we're all understanding what's going on here. All right, let's get into it. So fragrance mist. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Now I did say in my review, and I stand by this completely, that this reminds me of nineties Avon scents. I just get such a strong feminine nineties vibe from these scents. I mean, it's just stunning. It just has that beautiful powdery floral scent, but it's got the oriental side to it as well. There's something kind of exotic about it as well. Um, and kind of spicy and woodsy as well. But the floral is definitely the main thing you get here. And jasmine, yes, definitely jasmine is the number one floral scent that's going on here. I feel like there's some other floral things going on here, but I can't, I can't exactly pick it out. But there's definitely something else going on here, if you get what I mean. But the jasmine is the main overriding scent. That's all you really need to know in terms of the floral side to this. Um, there is definitely like a woodsy, like sandal woodsy kind of thing going on. It's definitely an intense scent. You do have to like strong scents to enjoy this. Like I said, very rem reminiscent of 90s Avon um, and those sorts of scents because they packed a punch. They weren't weak scents whatsoever. They definitely had a bit of go to them, if you get what I mean. Um, I wouldn't say there's any sort of vanilla note or anything sort of sweet in there or smooth, I guess. There's nothing like that in that way. Um, yeah, it's just, it, it has like, there is a little bit of a sweetness, but it's not like a vanilla sweetness or anything like that. I, I'm not really sure where it's coming from. Um, it doesn't smell like a fruity sweetness or like a vanilla sweetness or anything like that. There's just something sweet in there. That's just sort of blending it nicely, if that makes sense. So instead of vanilla, um, instead of a fruity note, it is just a natural sort of sweetness that's coming through with this, if that makes sense. So yeah, not overly sweet, but yeah, it's just adding something there. Now, if you're not a fan of sweet scents, you would probably still like this because it's not over the top and it's quite mild, if that makes sense. But if you like sort of intense um, power florals, I'm going to call it a power floral. That's what this scent is, a floriental, a power floral. If you like that sort of thing, you'll definitely like it. Now, this longevity was three to four hours. That's what I got from this. And that kind of surprised me because I would have thought it would have been more than that, considering the nature of the scent, that it is quite intense and deep. And I think it's just because it's a fragrance mist. I think there is more alcohol to fragrance um, in terms of the ratio. Um, which can affect the strength of the scent and the longevity of the scent as well. Um, now, I did give it, what did I give it originally? Let me look at my notes. Oh, I didn't write down the rating I gave it. Oopsie. Uh, look, comparing it with the perfume, I would give it a four out of five. I think I might have given it a five out of five originally. I believe I did. That's probably why I didn't write it down here. Um, but yeah. I would give it a four out of five if I'm comparing it to the perfume, but five out of five for the scent and everything else. And yeah, for 19 bucks, it's a pretty reasonable price considering what you get. But the longevity, it's not the best, best that it can be. Now, I bring you the perfume. Now, let me open this box up. I do keep all my perfumes in their boxes if I can, the original boxes, just because it helps with preserving the scent um, and giving it a long life. So here is the bottle. I mean, stunning, classic kind of design. Um, I did say in my last video with the Japanese cherry blossom, this does kind of remind me of Jimmy Choo fragrances with the glass paneling. If you've ever had a Jimmy Choo fragrance, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, pretty similar to that, right? 
the sort of um, light orange glass is really pretty and I've got some lights on in here, a few different lights, and it's shining beautifully. So it's quite classic and classy and I just love it. Now the scent of this is exactly the same as the Fragrance Mist, so I don't have to repeat that for you. But yeah, it, it's stunning classic style of scent. Um, oh, love it, love it, love it. So the longevity of this, I got about nine hours out of this, which I was quite impressed with that. I think that's quite decent for a fragrance. I think anything over eight hours is a pass for me with a fragrance, in all honesty. As long as it can last most of the day or all of the day, it's pretty good in my book. And nine hours is pretty much what most people's days is like, eight to nine hours at work, at school, whatever. Um, anything else that I can add? No, that's pretty much it. Like, that's the only difference. It's pretty similar to the Japanese cherry blossom one that I just reviewed. The scent is exactly the same, but there is a deepness to the perfume that I feel is coming from the fact that it's got a higher perfume to alcohol ratio. Uh, this is pretty common in perfumery. Um, you'll see it in terms of eau de toilette and eau de parfum because eau de parfum has a higher perfume concentrate. That's why a lot of people say eau de parfum lasts longer than eau de toilette. It's not always the case, but usually it's the case. Um, and even though this is an eau de toilette, it's still better than a fragrance mist in terms of the ratio of fragrance to alcohol, which means by logic, by science, <laughs> by um, chemistry rules, it should last longer on the skin. And it, it pretty much beat it by, you know, two to three times the amount that it did with the fragrance mist. So overall, would I recommend these products? I would recommend both, but obviously the perfume more so because of the longevity. This is definitely a five out of five product. I really enjoy the scent in this concept. I think that the Body Shop perfumes are kind of underrated. I think that the body mists in general aren't as good. The fragrance mists, I think the hair and body mists are good. I've just recently done a huge review comparison thing on those. The fragrance mists per se, they're a little bit hit and miss in terms of longevity, but the scent themselves is always really nice. So it's up to you guys. It's up to what you like out of a scent. I think a lot of people are looking for a scent that lasts all day. So obviously you would go for the perfume, but if you're looking for something that's just light and fun and you just want to spray it to go shopping or um, to go run a few errands or um, just spray it around your room or whatever, obviously the fragrance mist is going to be a better option for you. And it's obviously a more cost effective option in that sense because you're looking at a 100 mil here um, and this is a 50 mil. So it's half the product and it's more expensive than the fragrance mist as well so it's up to you guys it's up to what you like um, but yes I definitely recommend the perfume over the fragrance mist so thank you so much for watching this review and comparison I hope it was helpful for you let me know if you've tried Indian Night Jasmine what your thoughts are I'd love to hear them down below but until next time take care and I hope to see you guys again really soon bye for now